broadcast tonight, riboflavin and its importance in our daily lifestyle. What are the effects and causes of riboflavin deficiency? The firestorm in Southern California forces thousands to flee their homes. We'll have the latest on a state of emergency in the American West tonight. And finally, cases of yellow fever have now spread to New York. What you should do to keep you and your family safe. News World Headquarters in New York. This is NBC Nightly News with Kimberly Chung. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Hi. Good afternoon. To start off today's news broadcast, we have a special guest, Dr. Kim from London, England, and she will be discussing riboflavin and its importance in our daily lifestyles. Thank you for being here with us today, Dr. Kim. No, thank you. But before I get into further detail about riboflavin, let me briefly describe it. Riboflavin is a vitamin, also known as vitamin B2. It is part of the vitamin B group. It is stable to heat, oxidation, and acids. However, it is very unstable to light, especially UV light, which is also known as sunlight. Moreover, riboflavin is water soluble, meaning it can dissolve in water. Why, you may ask? Well, let's take a look at the molecular formula for riboflavin C17, H20, N4O6. As you can see, there are 17 carbons followed by 20 hydrogens, 4 nitrogens, and 6 oxygens. The reason why riboflavin is, is dissoluble is because of this tail of hydroxides, which is found bonded to this nitrogen. Water breaks up into hydrogen and hydroxide. The hydroxide groups in riboflavin create a bond with the hydrogen in water, while the double bonded oxygens in riboflavin bond with the hydrogens in water making riboflavin able to dissolve in water. Also, hydrogen bonds with itself, but the way the OH groups are oriented interferes with those bonds, making the hydrogen bond that it has with water stronger. Within the structure, there are four amino groups. Three of which are secondary amines because they are bonded to two alkyl groups. and one of which is tertiary because it is bonded to three alkyl groups. There is also a benzene ring which contains two methyl groups. This is benzene and this is, these are the two methyls. There are also two carbonyl groups, both of which are ketones. which are the double bonded oxygens in riboflavin. Hey everybody, it's me, Mickey Mouse. Say, you wanna come inside my clubhouse? Welcome back to What else did you want to learn about riboflavin, Tony and Susie? We learned so much about this riboflavin, but what is it used for? What does it have to do with red blood cells and metabolism? What's so important about it? How does it benefit us? Wow, you're full of questions, aren't you, Susie? Well, industrially, thin solutions of riboflavin are used to check for leaks or show coverage in a system. This is done by taking riboflavin and placing it under a UV light, which makes it fluorescent. It is also used to treat and prevent visual problems such as cataracts, as well as stress conditions such as fatigue or growth problems. Also, riboflavin is used to track medicine of patients with me mental disorders, but most importantly, it is used internally in our bodies to help us metabolize fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. 
There are simply too many uses of riboflavin that I can't say them all. Wow! And riboflavin is important because it helps with body growth and blood cell production, as well as releasing energy from carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, which is again, essentially metabolism. This means that riboflavin plays a very important, a very important role in the body. Although risks have not been evident through high dosages of riboflavin, there are risks with riboflavin deficiency or not having enough riboflavin in your system. In animals, riboflavin deficiency results in lack of growth, failure to thrive, and eventual death. Poor animals. And in humans, this can lead to the development of cataracts, rheumatoid arteritis, slow learning, insomnia, weakness, and much more. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I totally didn't catch everything you said! Does that make me a slow learner? Am I riboflavin deficient? What do I do to increase my riboflavin levels? I'm sure you're not suffering from riboflavin deficiency because slow learning is something that happens in humans. But if you are worried, riboflavin is presented as an essential component to all living cells. Therefore, it's found in almost everything we eat. Some of which include milk, cheese, leafy green vegetables, mushrooms, almonds, and much more. Quick Tony, you better go and grab some of those foods if you don't want to be riboflavin deficient. Good idea, I'll see you two later. Thanks for informing me on this, Kimmy. No problem, Tony. Well, that wraps up another episode of... Science Factor! See you next time!